Yeah, what's going on everybody? So today I need to explain arithmetic operators because, well, programming can sometimes involve a lot of math. Operands are values, variables, etc. In this equation, 11, x, and 5 are all operands. Operators, they can include, but are not limited to, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. In this equation, the addition sign would be the operator. So there's a few things you should know regarding arithmetic operators in JavaScript. So let's begin. Let's pretend that in this scenario, we are a teacher. We have a group of students. Let students equals what's a good class size, maybe 30 students. Then I will console dot log my students variable. And it should be 30. Let's say that a new student joins the class, and I need to change this variable. To increase students by 1, I can say students equals, this will reassign my variable, equals the current value of students plus 1. Now we have 31 students. Now for subtraction, that is the minus sign. To subtract a student, we can reassign our variable students equals students minus 1. Now we have 29. Then we have multiplication, which is represented by an asterisk. We will double the number of students we have. Students equals students, asterisk 2 to multiply by 2. We have 60 students. Division is a forward slash. We will split our class of students into 2. Students divided by 2. We now have 15. All right, then we have exponents. Exponents is represented by double asterisks. What is students to the power of 2? 900 students. That is a very large class. Maybe it's a lecture or something in a college. So students to the power of 3, that would be... Students to the power of 3 would be 27,000. Double asterisks is the exponent operator. Here's another helpful one. It is the modulus operator. It gives you the remainder of any division. So let's say we are going to divide our class into two. So modulus, which is represented as a percent sign, two. Well, 30 divides by two evenly, so the remainder is zero. If we had a class of 31 students, well, there's one remainder, one student, students modulus 3 would divide my class of 31 students into 3. We would still have one student remaining. Since we're reassigning students, we would be replacing 31 students with the value of 1. If you're using the modulus operator, I would recommend creating a separate variable entirely. Let extra students equal our students modulus 3. We have one extra student. Just one. Okay, that is the modulus operator. There is a shortcut for writing these expressions because it can be kind of tedious to write the variable name twice. So let's set students back to 30. I will console.log students. We'll use what is known as augmented assignment operators. To increase students by a number, if we're reassigning it, we can say students plus equals one or some other number. Students is now 31. If I were to change 1 to be 2, it's now 32 and 33. Let's do the same thing with subtraction. Students minus equals 1. We now have 29 students. Multiplication. Students times equals 2. That would give us 60 students. Students divided by equals 2. We have 15 students. All right, then exponents. Students to the power of equals 2. 900 students. Then modulus. Students modulus equals 2. We have no remaining students. 30 divides by 2 evenly. So another place where modulus could be helpful is if you're determining if a number is even or odd. 30 is an even number. Divided by 2, the remainder is 0. 31 is odd. The remainder is 1. There's also the increment and decrement operator. 
There's a couple different ways to add one to a variable, but you should be aware of all of them. To increase a variable by only one, you can take the name of the variable, then add plus plus. Plus plus is the increment operator. 30 incremented by one is 31. Then there is the decrement operator, which is minus minus. 30 decremented by one is 29. All right, then lastly, we're going to cover operator precedence. This is pretty important. Given a very complex equation such as this example, in which order do you solve each part of this equation? So with operator precedence, beginning with the left, working our way to the right, you would solve anything with parentheses, then exponents, multiplication and division and modulo, otherwise known as modulus, then lastly addition and subtraction. Let's go through this step by step. Let's see what the result variable is. I will console.log result. So the result is 23. So if we were to walk through this step by step, let's solve anything with parentheses, starting from the left and then working our way to the right. There are no parentheses, we can skip this step. Next is exponents. There is one exponent here. So we would solve 4 to the power of 2, which is 16. Then we will solve multiplication and division and modulus. That's addition, we skip that. We have multiplication, two times three is six. There is no more multiplication, division, or modulus. Then lastly, addition and subtraction. One plus six is seven. Seven plus 16 is our result of 23. All right, I'll give you a few more exercises. How about this equation? The result is going to be six. So there's no parentheses, no exponents, we do have a modulus operator here, so we solve that first. 12 modulus 5 gives us a remainder of 2. We have some division, we would solve that next. 8 divided by 2 is 4, then addition and subtraction. The result is 6. All right, here's a challenge round. The result is going to be 0 0.0468. We solve anything with parentheses first. 2 plus 5, that is 7. Then exponents, 2 to the power of 7. I might need a calculator. 2 times 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's 128. Then we have 6 divided by 128. Then we have 6 divided by 128, which is 0 0.046875. And that is our result. All right, everybody, so that is everything you need to know about arithmetic operators. You have operands, which are values and variables in arithmetic expression, and operators. There's also augmented assignment operators, which is a shortcut to writing these equations if you're going to reassign a variable. Then you have increment and decrement operators to increase a variable by one or decrease it by one. Then with operator precedence, if you're solving a complex equation, you solve each part of the equation following this order. And well, that is everything you need to know regarding arithmetic operators in JavaScript.